Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this is going to be another new Zodiac combo tutorial video for the Maximum Crisis format, what this deck is capable of doing with Maximum Crisis support, aka Zodiac Chaka 9 available to it. It's actually is really cool, like what this deck can do now that it's actually gotten access into another extender that kind of benefits the deck in a way that it's needed since the like the third rat went away on the ban list. But the combo I'm going to be showing you today is a little bit more of an in-depth combo from the previous video. The previous video I showed you the two basic one card combos, which was Rat Pierre or Barrage. Now this combo I'm going to be showing you is Zodiac Barrage plus any level four monster in the game. It can be Rat, it can be anything, because if it's Rat, you obviously normal summon Rat and use Barrage to be the level four. But if it's any level four monster in the game that can be normal summoned, you can combine that with Barrage, and this will give you a board that is Dryant, Emerald plus four draws. So it's a uh, it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice extender on the combo because previously the only way to draw three or more cards off a of fusion sub with rat at two was to open like rat instant fusion and that was a draw five. But anyway, the way this goes is you're going to activate your barrage and you're going to use your barrage targeting itself to destroy itself and you're going to special summon your rat pierre from deck. Now from here it's going to look very similar. Most of these zoo combos do look very similar in certain points in their uh, play sequencing. They all sort of match up, but then also differentiate themselves in certain specific points but so you're going to borbo into your rat pierre and then you're going to broad bull on top of your borbo and then you're going to detach off the broad bull to add your lunalite black sheep to hand alongside your level four monster and then you're going to discard the black sheep for your fuse for your uh, for your fusion substitute your first fusion sub i kind of lost my train of thought there for some reason don't quite know why but anyway on top of the Broad Bull, you're going to put your Chalk and Nine, so this should look very similar to the uh, beginning combo, the, the previous combo that I showed if you watched that. But so you're going to detach Broad Bull and you're going to bring back either Broad Bull or Borbo, whatever Xyz monster you want to bring back. But then you're going to Fusion Sub, and you're going to Fusion Summon uh, the uh, Norden using Chalk and Nine and the Broad Bull. So Norden comes out, and then Norden is going to bring back the Rat. Uh, so you have two rats and the Norden on the board. So this should look pretty familiar as far as a as far as a board presence. Now, with any level four monster in the game that can be normal summoned, you're going to normal summon that card, and then you're going to overlay in a very specific order. This is the way you get the most out of this combo string. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to leave your Norden and your Rat Pier on board, but you're going to overlay the two other monsters, the Rat Pier plus the other monster, into Digusto Emerald number one. And then you're going to detach Rat Pier, and you're going to use Rat Pier and Borbo, or not Borbo, Broad Bull and Lunalite Black Sheep as your things to shuffle back off of your Emerald. So you're going to shuffle back Rat, Sheep, and Broad Bull. So you're going to shuffle those cards back, and you're going to draw a random card. Now from here, you got a Rat left in your deck that you just put back. So you're going to overlay these two cards, the Norden and the Rat Pier, into the exact same Broad Bull you put back. Now you could be playing two Broad Bull if you're playing a more zoo, like pure zoo oriented deck, but in the odd chance that you're only playing one Broad Bull in your deck, this combo is completely possible with one Broad Bull, depending on how you sequence it, like I just showed. But then off this Broad Bull, you're going to attach both materials, the Norden and the Rat. So you're going to summon your Rat Pier from deck and then add your Lunalite Black Sheep back to hand again, which you are then going to discard to add Fusion Substitute to hand. So you've gotten access into a second Fusion Substitute. Now from here, you've got Fusion Substitute and Norden Engrave. So you're going to banish the first Fusion Sub to put Norden back into your extra deck and then you're going to draw another random card. And now from here, the combo sequence is the exact same as the previous one card combo. It's linked back up again to where it needs to be. You will then just get rid of the Emerald and the Broad Bull with the Fusion Substitute into Elder Entity Norden, and then basically off this Norden you're going to bring back whatever is the best, most applicable thing to bring back. In this case, it's very likely Whiptail, uh, because you can put Whiptail under your Dryant, and it'll be a very proactive card. If it was something like Ram Ram, Thoroughblade, something with attack points you could give to the Dryant, that's something you probably want to end up with. But then, you will just overlay your Norden and your Rat Pier into Digesto Emerald number 2, you will detach the Norden specifically, and you're going to shuffle back the Emerald. This is kind of mandatory. Uh, you're out of Fusion Substitutes, hopefully, if you're only playing two. So you're not going to put back the Black Sheep, but you're going to put back the Rat Pier, and then you're either going to put back Broad Bull or Chalk and Nine. Uh, depends on what is in your extra deck that you could still utilize. But So you'll do that, you'll draw another random card, and then you'll be able to stack up on top of this whip tail that we have in this situation but in your other situation it could be literally anything that you brought back off of uh off of your uh off of your norden 
But so you end up with a Dryden, you end up with Emerald, and we still have this Fusion Sub left in Grave, so you'll banish this Fusion Sub and put this Norden back into your Escher deck to draw another random card. So you end up with a plus four because you started with two cards and you end up with six. You've cycled your deck out. Uh, you end up with a Dryden with hopefully a relevant material under it, depending on what monsters you had access to when you started the play. And then you end up with an Emerald that uh, you could use next turn if it survives, and you have four other cards in hand alongside the other three, so you have seven cards in hand. Uh, but like depending on what these cards are, they could be extenders, they could be hand traps, they could be traps, they could be a lot of different things. Uh, but essentially, you end up with a very, very good position as far as card economy and card advantage like all these fusion substitute combos are actually just insane in terms of what they yield you uh as far as as far as how the zoo engine progresses the game state as far as with your your economy your card economy but anyway that is it for this combo video i'm not gonna do another video another combo in this video just because we're getting into more of the lengthy combos so i don't want these videos to get super long i'd rather keep them short and contained it's like one or two combos that are very similar to each other as long as it's short enough to contain it so anyway stay tuned for the next zodiac combo video that i do on this channel if you're interested in these if you wanted to know how the deck operates because i feel like this deck is definitely still a commanding force in the format going forward alongside true dracos you should definitely respect its existence and respect what it's capable of doing and at least be knowledgeable of what it can do so you can know best how to potentially stop it with whatever play string you're going with whatever defensive cards you have access to stuff like that but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always links as always are in the description of my facebook and my patreon page if you want to support the channel directly then patreon is the best way to do so it also is going to help make some things possible in the future some pipe dreams i have for this channel that i'd like to have get going but also if you want to get access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of this month or if you want to get access to my personal discord server to chat with me on a 24 7 unrestricted basis me and 15 others at this point then definitely go check out the patreon page look at the reward tiers and see if there's something that you find to your fancy or if you just want to support the channel in general then definitely just go check that out but otherwise if you want to indirectly support the channel then definitely check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel and i'm a big fan of how they do business and the support they've given the channel thus far all the zodiac cards that you see in this video were supplied to me by second chance gaming for video making and playing purposes so they've supported the channel and supported me as a person as an entity quite a bit and i'm a huge fan of how they've just stuck their neck out and been able to help me out in more ways than one so definitely go check them out if you're interested and let them know that phoenix sent you but other than that that is it for this video again thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual again let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and if you like the video and know some people that might also like my content i encourage you to share these videos around in groups or to people or whatever and maybe encourage them to subscribe as well and help grow the channel's viewership base and stuff like that it's a great way to show support but other than that as i've already said thanks for watching and take care guys i will see you in the next video